<laughs> now you don't have a ministry if you can't keep a woman go and sit down you have no ministry our forefathers that pioneered this way they were able to keep women what did Paul say even though he was a celibate he said do I not have the power to lead about a sister he knew it was his own destiny to live without marrying but he was saying that it is not because he lacks the ability to to lead the sister the power is there it is when you are married that you now discover it requires power I am a woman. Requires what? Power. Because the anointing is going to rest on the structure of what you have built as a lifestyle. And Jesus was excellent in living under the authority of God. And God attested to that. And his spoken ministry was just for three and a half years built on 30 years of living if you if you know the government of god and the place of the government of god in the life of a representative of god you will take more time in your prayers to deal with excesses in your character and a wife is a major tool that will unveil those excesses. Uh, oh. uh, very soon you will know whether you talk too much. You will know. You will know. And then you will now say, God, I'm, I, people say they are blessed when I preach, but I've discovered that I have grace to say things that you are not saying. That becomes a body. It will humble you. In that humility, eh, God will find the cracks, the cracks of your brokenness and the, the oil of grace, of gladness. It will flow through the cracks. You will discover that uh, fruit is cultivated, but gift is coveted. You know, when you cultivate, uh, you understand that? Uh, the fruits of the Spirit. Fruit is what? Cultivated. Gift is coveted. It's easy to get gift. But if you are going to have fruit, you will cultivate it. You will cultivate it. You will cultivate it. You need to wake up in the morning and say, Holy Spirit, I want to obey you today. And then when you go out, you, you fight with Okada. Slap a boss man. Insult the grandfather of someone that tried to despise you. When you come back home, you go back to Holy Spirit and say, I fought, I slapped, and I insulted the foundation of men. Have mercy on me. Then the next day, when you are going again, you say, Holy Ghost, I want to obey you. Every day, come back and report to him. You will know that the cure, that actually fruit is, is cultivated. There will, there's no miracle like on the altar. When you are wedding people, no miracle happens at the altar. <laughs> the way they came, that's how they will start the journey. A come with suit like this. Come with suit. My concealer. I make terrible silly. Wake up! Wake up! <laughs> In the resources with which you came, that's what you will go and use to start the project. <laughs> it's cultivated. He said that a man of God must not be a striker. That means if people offend him, he should not be making plans on how to retaliate. He should have the capacity, he should have valves here and valves. So when pressure mounts, he, he, he releases it. If not, human beings can make you become an unbeliever in the night, not even in the daytime. And you want to kill. He says, not a striker. A man that can let go. You will not learn that in Bible study. You cultivate it. Because most of you, you came from lineages of hunters. People that hunt. So you will need to learn. Hey, you will mean that. 
that one is not by accident that's when you will know how much you need the supply of God's grace because fruit is cultivated and gift is just coveted with fasting and prayer and you are asking that's all you need to do to get a gift and if you continue what you did to get the gift it will grow so you cannot be a man with big gift and it is hanging on no character you are disaster you are working for satan satan knows that all the things you are going to achieve with that anointing will be harvest for you 